recent events in your life, you may be asking, is the day of Jesus' return drawing near? And that's a legitimate question. I know I've had neighbors ask me that recently, and you may be asking that, or you may have friends who are asking you that, and uh, we, we need to think about what's happening. Now, no doubt, the day of Jesus' return is closer than it's ever been before. But if it is drawing near, there's some things we need to be aware of. In, in Hebrews 10, 23 through 25, it talks about certain aspects. It talks about us holding fast to our confession and to being very purposeful to love, show love, and stimulate one another loving good deeds. It also warns us that we're not to forsake assembling together. And I, I think as, as life goes on and, and uh, circumstances and events happen, there is a tendency for us to kind of let assembling together slide. And you might be saying, well, come on, Burke. I mean, good night. We've got all these video opportunities. I'm talking with more people. And that is true. But let me ask you this question. What happens if the internet goes down? But even if it doesn't go down, are there things we, you and I need to think about and, and really reconsider? Because I do believe, just as you know, the Apostle John made the statement, he said, I wanted to see you face to face so that our joy will be complete. And so there is a dynamic of being together with people physically that brings out the fullness of our joy. I'm not saying you won't have any joy, but I'm talking about the fullness of our joy and really being able to encourage each other in our faith as days and times are hard. And so I want you to think about something. I want you to maybe, is this the time to reconsider church and rethink church? And I want you to even believe, do you believe God could even use you to get something started on, on your porch or your patio or in your home? Consider that, God can use anyone to do that.